The Tao of Self Confidence, Episode 140. Welcome to the Tao of Self Confidence, where I share stories of successful women finding their inner journey to self confidence five days a week. Subscribe to our newsletter by visiting thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on. You know, I love her post on Facebook. You know, what I love about her is that she always tells the truth. And, you know, sometimes we just have to listen to people that, you know, tell you things that you need to hear versus what you want to hear because it's done out of love. And, you know, I love this woman. I'm really just glad that she's here today to share her story about self-confidence. And she is a social media coach for network marketing professionals. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Lisa Torres. Lisa, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit about yourself to the listeners. All right. Well, thank you so much for inviting me to hang out with you today, Sheena. My name is Lisa Torres again, and I have been in the network marketing industry for 26 years since I was 19. And um, But I didn't start seeing success until eight years ago when I got laid off from my job. Um, this was in 2007. And since then, you know, it's been an amazing ride, an amazing journey. You know, now, you know, it took me a, a, quite a few years up until three years ago, actually, in 2013 to finally break through to creating six figures on the Internet. But now I teach network marketers how to do that using social media, you know, because I started on YouTube, you know, and then I went to MySpace back then. And then I moved over to Twitter and then Facebook came along. So I had my share of social media uh, ups and downs, if you will. You know, I was able to create, you know, that kind of success without doing any paid ads, which is awesome, which a lot of people just don't know how to do. So my passion and my love for what I do is really teaching network marketers how to, um, you know, create success on social media, because most of them, you know, they're taught all of the old school stuff and all the old school stuff is great, but you have to learn how to create leverage. And, you know, that that's what I was able to do over the past eight years was, you know, just create leverage and utilize certain systems and tools and plugging into training and things like that to be able to create a significant amount of income just using the internet. Um, because what a lot of, uh, you know, network marketers do is that they go out there and they're just so accustomed to spamming their link all over the place when they really don't know that what they need to be doing is going out there and sharing value. So in a nutshell, that has been my passion for, you know, the past. Uh, well, when I, when I first got started in 2007, I was one of those spammers. Yes. But I didn't start. I didn't learn the secret until about 2009. So from 2009 till right now, you know, we're in 2016 right now, I, I've been able to use attraction marketing and teach other people how to do the same thing. So, you know, that's, that's just a little background on me. Awesome, Lisa. Well, thanks for sharing that. And you know, what's your cultural background? I am American. <laughs> But I, you know, I come from a Hispanic, Puerto Rican. My father's Puerto Rican and my mother was from, she was half Austrian and half Spain. My grandmother was from Spain. My grandfather was from Austria. So I don't know if you want to call me a mutt, I don't know. but that's, that's kind of my thing. But I, I grew up, you know, in the Bronx in New York. I currently live in Atlanta now because I was able to move my family, you know, out of the Bronx, but I grew up in the Bronx. But I grew up not speaking any Spanish. <laughs> I used to speak Spanish up until I was about maybe seven or eight years old. And then I kind of lost it from there. So now I'm just, you know, Puerto Rican who doesn't speak English. Uh, excuse me, who doesn't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Lisa. And you know, Lisa, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? So my, self, my, my favorite uh, self-confidence quote is, Self-confidence is the best outfit. Rock it and own it. I love that quote. So, yeah, I, I just believe that, you know, when it comes to because because I used to be very, very introverted, extremely introverted. And then I, I, I started doing videos. And it's funny because videos, you know, when I first started on, on YouTube, videos is what helped me get over that fear, you know, of of low, you know, low self-confidence. So yeah, I mean, I, I just believe I'm a big firm believer of 
grasping that confidence level and just owning it and just, you know, developing your posture. So, yeah, that would be my my favorite self-confidence quote. Awesome. And I love that quote, too. And, you know, video was huge for me, too. I remember doing my first video. I was like shaking, sweaty palms, stuttering like a crazy person. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's something that we all have to go through, right? So, you know, I totally understand how video can totally help you just bring your self-confidence to the next level. So thanks for sharing that quote. And how would you define self-confidence? Self-confidence is being aware of who you truly are and knowing. I think self-confidence is actually a knowing that you are good enough. Because if you know that you are good enough, then, you know, that confidence will just shine right through you. So I think one of the things that I like to do, you know, when I had low self-confidence was to embrace the maybe compliments that I was getting from other people. Like, for example, if they loved my video, if I inspired them, you know, if I motivated them into action or anything like that, all of, all of those things, embrace them, embrace them. And when you can start embracing them and just knowing that just, just because you see yourself a certain way really doesn't mean anything. It's just your opinion. But when you have a whole bunch of other people lifting you up and telling you that they love, you know, your content or they, you know, they love your self-confidence, even though you may feel uh, low in your confidence level, just know that if other people see that, then you need to embrace that and live, just walk through that moment and just feel it. Awesome definition, and I love it. And it's true, right? You know, sometimes we don't really believe in ourselves, and, you know, there's other people who can see that greatness inside us and just, you know, take it, embrace it, and just go with it sometimes, right? So great definition. And, you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Oh, Lord. (laughs) Well, let's see. Again, I was extremely shy, extremely introverted. I, I'll never forget uh, my sister. She got married. I don't remember what year it was, about 15 years ago. And um, she got married in Greece. Beautiful ceremony, beautiful wedding. Everything was gorgeous by the water, just beautiful. And all these you know, family and friends were around and it was time to stand up and say a speech. <laughs> And I'll never forget the, my palms were sweating, you know, my, my knees were shaking, my heart was racing and I had to get up and say that speech and I stumbled upon my words and it was literally a living nightmare, living nightmare, but I pulled through it and, um, I did it anyway. And, you know, I'll just never forget the flush in my face was so red. And, but you know what? Again, I'm going to go back to video. I'm going to go back to video because video is one of my uh, favorite things. It's one of my favorite forms of marketing. I just absolutely love doing videos. And I believe that if you are, you know, if anybody can relate, anybody who's listening can relate to what I just said about, you know, your knees are shaking, your palms are sweating, you're like lump in your throat, ready to just like cry because you got to speak in front of people. I get it. But I can tell you one thing. Here's one tip that I want to give you. Start doing videos. Okay. That was my life before I am now. Now I, you know, I do videos. I speak on stage with thousands of people now, but I was never like that before. But you have to, I think that if you want to get out of that, start doing videos. I'm telling you, start doing videos because when you start doing videos and you just start talking and just, you know, to the camera and putting yourself out there, it becomes easier and easier and easier. So that was basically my life before I discovered self-confidence. I was very, very shy, very introverted, Um, just, you know, that that was me. But now I'm just a completely, totally, completely different person. Awesome, Lisa. And thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I can't even imagine you as someone who's like extremely shy and extremely introverted because, I mean, you're just such a strong woman, right? I mean, just seeing you like on Facebook and doing your videos, you know, you just have this confidence that you just bring out and, you know, you just inspire people to just go out there and take action. So, and, you know, after realizing that video was what really helped you bring your self-confidence, what's your life like now? What is my life like now? Now that fear is completely gone. Okay. I have no issues. What's it's like now I want to get up on stage. You know, I want 
to do more videos. I want to put myself out there. Like I, I don't know. I just, just completely complete transformation (laughs) from what I used to be to what I am now. And again, I'll repeat it. You know, it all goes back to when I first started doing videos back in 2008 is when I first started doing video 2007, eight, something like that. And it all goes back to really, again, I'll go back to what I said about other people giving their opinions on you. You know, if you have daily, so many people telling you that, you know, they love your content. They love your stuff. You know, you did such a great job on the call or you did such a great job on stage. All of that stuff builds your self-confidence. But in order to get to that point, you have to be you have to be willing to take the first step. And what's the first step? The first step is cutting your first video and putting it up getting over it, you know, stepping out into your greatness and saying, you know, if somebody asks you to get on stage, go on stage, right? Go to networking events, go to, uh, what, what, what is that? What is that? They have like a meetup group, uh, Sheena, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think, that- I think it's called meetup. You, know, you just, there's various areas that um, you can meet up with other female entrepreneurs. Yeah. Exactly. Go to like meetup groups, And, um, you know, just really just start putting yourself out there and doing things that really, really, really make you feel uncomfortable. Because if I think you could do that, then you'll get over all the little self issues that you have running around in your mind that, you know, it's just it's your belief, not anyone else's. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Lisa, and love the tip that you you mentioned. And I believe every woman should cut a video, should do videos, right? I mean, I just believe women are, you know, beautiful human beings just got to show our pretty faces out there. And yeah, it's, it's scary. I mean, I get it. I went through it. You went through it. It's probably the scariest thing you will ever do, but it's also the greatest thing you will ever do, right? Um, so, you know, great tip. And if there's anyone who would want to connect with you, get to know a little bit more about what you do, is there any social media profiles or any links that we can connect with? Yeah, I mean, the best place to find me is um, you can go to either lisatorresspeaks.com or you can go to asklisatorres.com. That will take you to my Facebook fan page, actually. So the first one is my blog, lisatorresspeaks.com. And the second one, asklisatorres.com, is my fan page. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Lisa. And to our listeners, if you would like to connect with Lisa, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Lisa's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I really just want to thank Lisa for taking the time to share her story with us. So Lisa, thank you so much. You're welcome, Sheena. Thanks for having me. It was an honor. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Check out our resources to help you jumpstart your inner journey to self-confidence by visiting the Tao of Self-Confidence.com.